We're in the darkness today. Do we really like to live in the dark? Do we live with secrets or hidden corners in our lives that we rather not admit before God or before others that we interact with? Do we revel in staying in the darkness, away from God and away from His light? We are now in the time of Lent, a time to truly reflect on who we are before God and how God has called us to be His people. Not just as the whole church, but as individuals who are free to follow God. Not with corners that we don't want to reveal, but to live in freedom and peace before God and not in the darkness. And yet many people live in the dark, like we are now illustrating for this. But we don't want to live in the darkness. We want to be close to God. We want to be people who are in peace, who are free, who are honest, who are not duplicitous before God or before others. What is the good Lord calling you and me to do this Lent? but to put aside these dark spots and to follow him honestly and in the light. The light is Jesus and there is no other path to peace other than through him. What is it like to live in the darkness versus the light of Jesus? We want to live in the light True light is in Jesus. We don't want to be in the dark. I hope this Lent is a real experience for you, that you may live close to God and stay close to Him in any crisis. It's easy to remain in the dark, but Jesus wants us to be close to Him, and He is the light of the world. Not anything or any substance or any replacement for God. Only the good Lord, who calls us close to his side. Remember the lost sheep. Jesus will go after that one lost sheep, leaving the 99 who are okay for now, to find you and me when we are lost and in the darkness. Only in him will we have light and peace. And Jesus wants us to be free, living in his light. Reflect for a moment on the Lenten journey that you and I have been on. How can we move from darkness into His light? How can we remain close to the Lord, which means close to His light, to be free, to be people of prayer, to be people of service and charity, not serving ourselves, but serving others? How can we be honest and true people of God.